As the crypto space heats up in 2024, everybody's trying to figure out what are the hot sectors that are primed for explosion. And while everybody and their brothers looking at meme coins, AI, DPIN, and gaming, there's another sector in the crypto space that's heating up rapidly that could become as large as $10 trillion in the coming years. Just for reference, that's roughly four times the size of the current crypto market cap and about eight to 10 times the size of the current Bitcoin market cap. And one of the biggest reasons for this is because this is actual adoption of blockchain technology that has nothing to do with cryptocurrencies price speculation. And as a blockchain developer myself, I'm particularly excited about this because, you know, hey, that's what I signed up for. Game-changing technology that gives you benefits with blockchain that you can't get anywhere else. I'm gonna explain exactly what it is in this video today and why you need to pay attention. I'll of course talk about all this as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And while there's a ton of opportunity happening in crypto right now, the absolute best way to make it in this space, to make life-changing money long-term in any market, is to double down on your technical skills and become a blockchain developer so that you can increase your income. I can show you how to do that step-by-step from -step start to finish over at dappadversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about this massive blockchain trend that is primed for explosion. Now, obviously, nothing I'm saying in this video is designed to be financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information, but this massive trend is real world assets moving onto the blockchain. I've covered this topic a few times on my channel within the last year or so, but we've seen a massive leap forward in this space that I want to weigh in on. And that's kind of how crypto works. We see little trends start to emerge and then boom, something really exciting happens. And this, what I want to talk to you about is really signal versus a lot of noise that's happening in crypto. So what is this major event? So see BlackRock, the world's largest institutional asset manager just launched their real world asset fund on the Ethereum blockchain and it had roughly $250 million of inflows just in the first week. Now you might have seen this actually floating around on social media, but this is really big news. And I think many people are underestimating what a huge deal this is that can literally be a match in a powder keg that can just boom, blow up and set the stage for a massive wave of adoption of blockchain technology that has nothing to do with cryptocurrency price speculation. So let me explain why. So first, let's talk about BlackRock. So in the case you've been living under a rock, they've been a huge name in crypto over the past, you know, six to 12 months. Uh, mostly because of the Bitcoin ETFs. Okay. You know, just a quick recap, an ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund. And basically, this is a way where you can buy Bitcoin through traditional brokerages, just like an index fund, without having to buy it on a centralized exchange. Okay. And you can see what's happened to the price of Bitcoin in anticipation for the ETFs that were launched and also what happened to the price of Bitcoin after the ETFs were launched. And BlackRock was really influential in getting ETFs approved that have been trying to do this for almost a decade inside the crypto space. And so whenever they make a big move like this, it's in time to pay attention. And so this most recent move for their tokenized real world assets funds, you have to pay attention. And here really quickly, you can see this clip from Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, talking about this you know, tokenization of real world assets as the next step. We believe ETFs are a technology no different than Bitcoin was a technology for, for our asset storage. We believe the next step going forward will be the tokenization of financial assets. And so BlackRock has already made their first move in this regard by launching its first tokenized fund, uh, Biddle, on the Ethereum network. You can actually see the smart contract for that here on the Ethereum blockchain if you want to go look it up. So what is this product and how is this really just the first step in this tokenization of real world assets that could explode into a much larger trend? And what are the downstream effects for crypto right now? Okay, so that's what I want to explain for the rest of this video. All right, so first off, let's talk about this Biddle fund. So what it is, is basically just a fund that's on the blockchain, okay? So the whole idea here is you can take dollars, you know, US dollars and convert them into digital dollars on the blockchain and then those dollars will actually earn yield, okay, that are paid back to you on a monthly basis that you can redeem through Securitize, which is the partner that they've chosen to launch this product with. And so currently, this is only open for larger institutional investors. You know, you or I can't just go and do this. The minimum contribution at the time recording this video, I believe, is about $5 million. But this is just the first step. And so why is this particular investment product a big deal? Okay, so the whole idea here is you have you know, people with large amounts of money that want to manage part of their cash treasury. They don't want cash sitting around idle, like not earning any good yield. I mean, most bank accounts have really poor interest rates, not to mention the fact that you have limited access to your funds. The settlement takes a really long time and there's not really much transparency into the process. 
So this is totally different, okay? So basically, if, if you have somebody who has a cash treasury position and they want to put it on chain, they can get yield regularly that's going to be competitive to what they might earn in a bank. There's instant settlement, there's transparency, and they always have access to their funds. Now, what's really important about this is that the yield is actually backed by something in the real world because we've seen an evolution of this in crypto where, of course, we've had stable coins, we've had yield-bearing stable coins, we've had you know DeFi yield farms, but all of these have kind of been generated by Ponzi nomics in the past. They've absolutely blown up, but this is real world assets. So the yield is generated by, you know, treasury yields and lots of other yields from actual real world assets that are off chain that are paid out on chain to people holding these tokens. So basically you hold a stable coin, it bears interest. You can claim the interest every single month and it's real yield that's actually coming from somewhere in the real world, but it's happening on chain. And so this is really just the beginning, okay? So we can see this expand to many other types of real world assets like debt and credit, real estate, tokenization of many other securities products, you know, anything that you can think of that could be put on chain. Now, why might you want to do this? Well, in the case of this particular product, you have the benefits of, you know, competitive yield that's actually happening on chain that's backed by something you have accessibility, instant settlement, transparency, et cetera, et cetera. And you can really copy and paste a lot of those same benefits onto these other financial products where you have a massive benefit of doing this on chain versus some other way. And really, this is just the beginning because, you know, right now, the time recording this video, BlackRock has about $10 trillion in assets and under management, but their vision is to turn this tokenized vision of real world assets into a $10 trillion opportunity in the coming years, which means we're potentially at the beginning of something really massive. And so what are some implications of this right now for the crypto space? What are some other downstream effects of current technology inside of crypto that you know you should probably pay attention to? Well, number one is the choice of ecosystem. Okay. So again, you know, BlackRock decided to launch this thing on Ethereum, talking about Ethereum layer one. And that's an important thing to understand here because people say like, hey, why should you use this blockchain? Why should you use that blockchain? You know, people have a lot of problems with Ethereum because it's kind of slow, it's expensive to use. And they, they just don't want to use it for that reason. They want to use something else, especially for like meme coin speculation or DeFi. But you have to understand an institution like BlackRock has way different priorities, okay? They want a chain that has a very long reputation and history for being secure and decentralized and censorship resistant, all that type of stuff. So they don't care about, you know, high gas fees or, you know, relatively slow settlement times when you're talking about, you know, $5 million of minimum contributions for a fund like this. And so I think that's a pretty good vote of confidence in the future for Ethereum being a settlement layer for large amounts of money like this. Now, that being said, I don't think that means that demand for things like Ethereum layer twos or other chains like Solana, you know, negate any of that. But I think that we'll start to see, you know, certain chains used for certain use cases. Like if you're going to speculate on meme coins, you're probably not going to pay absorbent gas fees on Ethereum layer one. You're probably going to go chase whatever hot casino is happening on a cheaper chain. But that's not what BlackRock's priorities are. All right. So with that being said, you know, what are some implications for specific projects in the crypto space that can benefit from this trend? Okay. So I'm going to talk about some specific projects that have coins associated with them. This is not financial advice, you know, to buy or sell any coins about what I'm talking about. But some of the actual technology is important here. So one thing is you have to look at like the second order effects of demand for real world assets and what are projects that help provide that. So one of those is infrastructure for real world assets. And, you know, one longtime player in the blockchain space stands to benefit from this, benefit from this significantly, which is Chainlink. Okay. So what is Chainlink? If you're not familiar, why does this matter? Well, Chainlink is an Oracle service. So what is that? How does that connect to real world assets? Well, basically, if you're talking about owning something on the blockchain, the only thing the blockchain really knows is your ownership of that thing. But if it requires any data that lives off the blockchain, okay, you've got to pull that information in and put it on the blockchain so that, you know, it, it can work with your ownership. So that's what Chainlink is for. It's an oracle. You need an outside trusted data source that can pull that information to the blockchain so that you know what the price maybe of an asset is that you hold on chain. So Chainlink definitely stands to benefit from this, okay? And pretty much all the leading Oracle players uh, do as well. So example, uh, like Pith, for example, Pith is another Oracle service for smart contracts that I anticipate to benefit from the real world assets boom as well. You've got other DeFi applications that specifically focus on real world assets themselves that stand to benefit from this, like Ondo Finance, okay? Basically, this is taking institutional grade finance now on chain. You've got yield bearing assets, just like I talked about a minute ago. 
Uh, but part of this is, you know, they've teamed up with asset issuance chain Noble to bring tokenized U.S. treasury offerings to the Cosmos ecosystem. So they're firmly on this trend along with BlackRock. Another player in this space is Pendle. OK, so Pendle has opportunities to earn yield on a variety of assets. But one of those, SDI, which is also backed by real world assets. And if you keep taking this trend further and further, you know, ownership of real world assets and doing financial services for real world assets, we're really just scratching the surface here. And one area in particular that I'm excited about over the long term is real estate. OK, there's lots of things you can do with real estate and finance and the intersection of blockchain. I mean, a really simple example is just modeling ownership of homes on blockchain where you could transfer that. But there you've seen lots of projects experiment that in the past with, you know, a, a little bit of traction. But we also have the ability to basically use real estate as collateral for other financial products and do that with blockchain. So a pretty simple one to think about is like a home equity line of credit or a home equity loan. Okay, we've got projects like this, Homium, who's launched this on Avalanche, who are doing just that with blockchain. So if you're not familiar with the HELOC is, basically the idea is if you own a home and you have equity above what your down payment is, you can borrow some of that money for a certain amount of interest, just like you would a credit card, and then pay that back over time, whether it's for home improvement, or really you can use the money for whatever you want to. And we're seeing projects like Homium uh, introduce this concept with real world assets on chain with Avalanche. All right, so that's an overview of the real world asset explosion that's happening right now on the blockchain, really kicking this off with BlackRock and their Biddle Fund here in the last month or so. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Are real world assets going to be a big thing for 2024 and beyond? I want to hear from you. And whenever you finish leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe. And while there's a ton of exciting things happening in the crypto space right now, and there's a ton of opportunity here, the absolute best way to take advantage of all this opportunity to make life-changing money in this space in any market is to become a blockchain developer, increase your income, and I can show you that step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.